years that I've been no tobacco and people will be like, no, nah, this is just weed. And then I'll, I can like smell the tobacco in it. Oh, they're I'm trying like, to spliff you. Yeah. They're trying yeah. to do it to like be a dickhead, like on purpose, which to- is wild as fuck. See, that's how, that's how we know we're in a weird time is where cigarettes are seen as more taboo yeah, they- than, than weed. <laughs> 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 if someone rolls up smoking a cigarette, like, look at this oh, fucking look loser. Oh, <laughs> look at this Ew. junkie. Ew, you're going to get lung cancer. Is- it's fucking, I'm getting lung cancer. Yo, fucking spark that goddamn big ass dumb bong. <laughs> this shit, so wait, hey, tell me, uh, should I? Yeah. I'll blow, it, I'll blow it that way. I'll blow it that way and just kill the flowers. Yeah, dude, get the flowers <laughs> fucked up. Here we go. One, two, three, go, 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 to, to, to. <laughs> Dude, are you one of those guys? Dude, I that coughs. I knew it. I know, I know, I knew so many dudes who would like have these retarded huge bongs, like <laughs> comically huge bongs. Yeah. And then they would hit them and then when they would like let the X out, they'd be like Like they were just like they just did like a huge deadlift. They're like, yes. I uh, like I always do a death growl. Oh, you fucking <laughs> dumb shithead! <laughs> oh, open the pit. I'm all <laughs> fucked up. Never. Fuck it. Yeah, dude. But I, it was to mock that. But now I don't know if it's ironic or I really enjoy doing it. Dude, I I think you do enjoy doing it. I, think I don't think I should smoke anymore. Look at the smoke look, yeah, look just at this. wafting, I love it. just I love wafting it. all over. Fucking get, dude. I want people to. <laughs> walk in here and wonder what happened. Not not that we've been smoking weed. Just like, did something happen here? Did you ever see that fucking footage of uh, did you ever see the footage of the dude? I think he was in fucking the Middle East and there was a huge like drug raid at like this opium like fucking, you know, field and all this other shit and they were burning all of the weed and all the shit and he was downwind of it and he's like a reporter trying to like do the news and like he's just like and we found over 450 pounds of marijuana psycho and he's like mm-hmm. <laughs> wow, fucking, wait a minute that's the only way i think i would ever get stoned is if i was in a situation where like i do fantasize you ever fantasize about being a hero oh 100% so like one of my fantasies no joke is shut up Danny shut the fuck up Dan one of my fantasies is that I'm walking home and then like as I'm walking down the street I see like a blaze in the air and it's a house on fire and there's one big titted mom out front <laughs> just be like my babies are inside and I have to fucking be like and I'm like is there anybody helping like she's like we don't know we didn't call anybody blah 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 and I have to like fucking kick in the door run up and I'm st- like you know picking up children and all this other shit and i in my fantasy one of them doesn't make it in my fantasy not everyone like lives. you drop one on the way yeah. out <laughs> <laughs> i can't go back <laughs> actually in my fantasy i i fucking make him into a bong and hit the kid he's like i had to fuck it i fucked up that'd be but, fire to light a bong off a house fire dude <laughs> Fuck yeah, dude. Yeah. Just be like, what are you doing? It's like, I'm fucking over it. <laughs> I would do it then. Yeah, you have to do the death do growl. Holy then. shit, this is the end podcast with Ryan Shanner. I am joined by the one and only Sam Buck. Thank you so much for being on Thank the goddamn you show. For having me. Where can they find you, my goddamn listeners? Uh, at Sam Bucked Up on Instagram. Fuck yeah, dude. Yeah, so saving the children. Saving the children. Oh, I uh, I found that a uh, clip of that report. Oh yeah, dude, on. put it on. This is the fucking best. I love this dude because he's just trying to do his job, and he fucks up. Oh, do we have the audio? Or is it in the cans? Dude, burning listen to behind, this guy. Burning behind me is eight and a half tons of heroin, opium, hashish, and other narcotics. <laughs> oh, he's fucked. Dude, he is so oh, fucked he's up. Fucked. <laughs> Come on there, let's and dude, even the camera's like, oh man, we gotta still do this, dude. Jeez. <laughs> Burning behind me. <laughs> <laughs> quick, 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 quick. Well, we just need one more. Dude, 
Dude, I fucking Drugs love it. Drugs like that are fun because he's not an uh, addict. No, it's not no, no. Like that's what I'm talking about. That guy like, rules. I found a pint of activist lean in my grandmother's closet. What the fuck is that? It's like it's the shit that Justin Bieber had discontinued because they caught him drinking it. Oh, it's like the so strongest lean you can get. Hell yeah, dude. And I found a pint <laughs> of it in my grandmother's house. And I was like, I told her, I was like, yo, you know, this could sell for like $1,200, this Damn. Pint. And my grandma's like, you should sell it. Just like make like, some Do money you want on me this. to sell drugs? But then I just drank it. Yeah, and that's I was the way like, I usually Now goes. I know why rappers get yeah. addicted to this yeah, dude. lean shit. Lean. It was fantastic. Fucking great. But I'm not going to do it again. No. It's I, fun in the moment. <laughs> yeah, if you're like, if you discover something that you're like, what is this? I'm going to fuck it. Like, the, I accidentally... Like a needle on the street. Yeah, if it's like hanging from a tree, <laughs> like a spider slowly coming down, you know, like just like kind of coming down, you're like, whoa, no! Oh, I better, yeah, dude, just walking through K&A like this. You taking your belt off? <laughs> yeah, it's like, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just ready. I'm ready for anything. <laughs> it might happen, but that would be that's again, again in the fantasy, <laughs> in the fantasy of drugs, <laughs> in the fantasy of drugs. It's like imagine being you're driving a car, a deer comes out on the on the road, and you fucking like you've swerved to avoid it. Your car flips, you're ejected, right? You fly through the air, you land in a field, but it's field full of like those like red white dotted magical mushrooms that the reindeer eat you know what i mean and like yeah, you fall yeah. and you're like your mouth just it's just like you ingest it <laughs> accidentally and you're not you're not hurt you're just like what the fuck but then you think you die because you were like was i even in that car I feel accident like you're like a priest trying to explain how he got caught sucking dick yeah <laughs> 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 He's like, it just happened to go in my mouth. I don't, I don't, I got ejected from the car. Let me tell y'all a, a dude was just naked, dick hard, and I landed on I couldn't on help it. that the roads were icy. <laughs> I didn't know that it was gonna be a that way. And when you flip and you fly out and a man happens to be erect like a goddamn steel beam. <laughs> I am sorry that my mouth may have. sexy, sexy I steel know beam. This man was harder than diamonds. <laughs> harder than diamonds in the Lord Jesus Christ. It fell into my mouth and I will never repent. I love my wife. I want my wife and my children to know I would never voluntarily put a penis in my mouth. I may have tripped and fallen. I am not gay. I'm a bad driver. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I fucked it. Revoke my license. Revoke my license, man. But, but not my relationship not my to rela God. I love my wife. Revoke my my license. <laughs> Just having a, having a preacher <laughs> demand that cops show up and arrest him. Take me to jail, but tell my wife I love her. <laughs> I was drunk driving. I wasn't having gay sex. It was a different thing. <laughs> I swear to God, I thought that hole meant glory of God. I thought it meant glory of God. I was going toward the hole in the sky, the I, white light. I didn't it was know. his butthole. I didn't it was know. his butthole. I didn't know I was tricked. <laughs> tricked by the devil. <laughs> Dude, blaming shit on the devil. <laughs> <laughs> Preachers are so dumb. <laughs> You'd be like, it was the devil that did it. The I actually do inside. feel like I could start going into speaking tongues, and I feel like it's dude. Like, <laughs> have you ever spoke tongues before? No. It's the best, dude. How? Are you, what are you talking? You about? spoke tongues? Yeah, dude. <laughs> Don't laugh at me like that. And Danny, I swear to God, see, I hear you over there, dude. I don't want anybody judging me. Yeah, you just. You <laughs> no, just, I bet. I bet you nailed it. Yeah, I did, dude. If you've ever been around, so this one chick I used to hook up with, she was um. Yeah, you did it for pussy. We well, no, it ended up. <laughs> That's why I suck dick. I did it for the pussy of the Lord. I, did, I, I was only there sucking the dick because I wanted, I wanted the sweet vagina. No, I uh, fucking, I hooked up with this chick who was a born again. Her parents were a born again Christian, but they were like those like Christians that you know the the snake shakers. Like those, no. you ever seen those people? No. What? Gypsies? No. <laughs> no. No, dude. These people that like are in the South, their thing is like they handle venomous snakes to prove how like 
not only devout they are to the Lord because they like trust in the Lord to protect them, but they also think that like through the power of the Lord, even if a snake were to bite them, they would still be like impervious to the venom. Like but the they're cer- still scared of black people. Yes, dude. <laughs> that's that's, what the that's fu- how crazy it is. How are you racist? People, and you're like, God is protecting yeah. me from these snakes. I will and you're pick just up this racing. rattler, but I will always lock my doors when I go <laughs> yeah, into town. I will so never make eye contact crazy. with an African American now. That is crazy. But uh, <laughs> she was a, she was a born again. Her parents were born again. Whatever. They apparently she lived in a place where like, and it wasn't even in the south. It was like near the Appalachia Trail where they were like doing this crap. Yeah, well, here they are. Look at these fucking, look at these maniacs. They handle, like, diamond bat. Yeah, look at these fucking retards. Those dudes aren't scared of fucking their cousin. I don't think Not they're going to be scared of snakes. Dude, it's like these guys, in a way, when I think about, like, Jamie Coots. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course, of course that's his name. It's Jamie Coots. Why is he crying? Because he's so moved by the lore, dude. I Don't think, you understand it? I think this goes back to them being closeted. Dude, there's and they're a, just jerking they're, off Yeah, they're the just stage. like, they want something big and girthy yeah, in their yeah, hands. Like, I love it. I just love it. God makes me want to Why does this squeak? snake have the biggest vein on the bottom of it? <laughs> <laughs> He's spitting venom. Gooey. Gooey. Ooh, he has fire? Yeah, dude. These guys are like, when, dude, yo, right. there's a documentary on YouTube about these guys and... Three generations have died due to snake bites. Yes, because they're venomous snakes that they're. Yeah, handled. they're not. They're not like. Nor, they're not constrictors. Dude. Linda, Coots. Linda Coots. Oh, <laughs> she's had to cover up a black eye. Before. Without a doubt, she's also had to cover up her fucking black pussy. That guy punches <laughs> her pussy <laughs> so hard, dude. Yo, I knew a girl who liked loaded guns inside of her. What? Yo. Danny, Danny's heard me talk about this. So now, wait, did you, now, mm. when you say you knew a girl, did you do it? Did you put a loaded gun inside of no. a woman? Damn it, Sam. No. Come on. It was a friend. It was a, fr- so wait, this was a good friend of yours. Mm-hmm. And he's hooking up with this girl. Oh, oh, I, for a second, I thought you meant the good friend was the girl. Because I was going <laughs> to say, dude, for a good, for a second, I was like, yo, come on. I said, you are in, dude. <laughs> All you had to do was on a phone call. All you just need to get is gu- yeah, get a gun. Get a I gun. just need a gun. If, someone, if a chick is like, you know, I'm just really lonely right now. And then you're like, I don't know, baby. It's like, I'm staring at a fucking cold right now, dude. I've got a fucking fucking gone yeah uh yeah did, so wait did he do it did he yeah put a loaded gun loaded gun in a vagina mm-hmm. not it, registered well i don't think <laughs> <laughs> somehow that adds yeah. to the fucking taboo this gun's got bodies on it dude <laughs> it's like oh you understand this is a fucking i'm not fucking around dude that's like then again, what do you think is the most like if I, if you ever met a woman that was like into gun pussy play, do you think that they have like the the gun that they want in their pussy? Like if you showed up with a regular, you know what I mean? Like I saw like off a double barrel. Yeah, like no, or like something that's like so sought after. Oh, only Glocks or Smith and Wessons. Yeah, I no, no. To God. See, you guys are going brand. I'm talking like if you say 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 you were a soldier. And you came across Saddam Hussein's gold-plated AK, and you like took a picture with that, and some chick's like, "I would love it." Oh my god! I think that chick is a terrorist fetish, dude. Oh my god! Do you have any kinks? Uh, I know we're all over the. We are all over the place. Yeah, we're on. I didn't even complete <laughs> any of my I fantasies. Should, this is why I shouldn't have blown the weed nah, smoke dude. at the beginning. I was just about to say. Dude, I think I know why. I am you're the reporter <laughs> right <laughs> now. <laughs> and I was like, it's so disrespectful yeah, you, to get literally. sober people fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> that is the best I thing apologize. in the world. No, you didn't get me fucked up. Danny, Danny's seen me fucking wild out before. I'm just get excited. him a snake. Yeah, get me a fucking snake. Get, get him Dude, a it, snake. Oh man, get him a snake in a Bible. <laughs> I think that's what I, I think that's what I'm gonna do for the next of the end. So I'm gonna have a snake on there. I'm definitely gonna have a snake. <laughs> Taxidermy big snake with some crosses and shit. I'm gonna call it Coots. Coots. Jamie Coots. It sounds like a racial slur. Jamie Coots or Coots. <laughs> Coots. Coots. Yeah. <laughs> You know, dude, I, first off, when you were talking about the trashy women, they love coots down here. <laughs> they love the coots. 
They love. So wait, you have no kinks? No. no? Oh, yeah, yeah. I was trying to get away from. Yeah, it. I no, know no, you were I'm trying to do. Kidding. You think I'm gonna? Do pull I have any that? kinks? Not really. No. I don't like a girl with gross ass hands. It's not a kink, but like I've not dated girls wait, or hooked up with girls if they have hands. like the chewed up nails. Oh yeah, or like yeah, yeah. The yeah. long nails and three of them are hanging off. Oh, I know what you're talking about. You Just like, don't do it. You like a well manicured hand. Yeah, like a soft hand. Now, are you a are you a veiny hand guy? <laughs> no. <laughs> what? You know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> like like veiny and hairy. So like no no no. no 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 no. <laughs> so so this is one thing. This is something as I've gotten Do I older. Like Armenians? No no no. <laughs> <laughs> Armenian. No. As I've gotten older, like one thing where like you know you can tell like a woman's relative age is by the their way hair. their hands look. Mm -hmm. And there are some times where I'll see a chick, I'm like, man, she looks like too, maybe not too young to talk to, but like, oh, she's probably like in her 20s. I'll probably have nothing in common with her. But then I'll see her doing stuff with her hands. I'm like, yo, those hands are old and they are probably Like what? Fucking knitting or making a wafer pudding? I, like dishpan hands, dude. You know what I'm talking about? Like them like fucking like, yeah, yeah, like just like pruny all the time. You Possibly can't, arthritic. Chicks are going to start getting their hands done. I know, dude. <laughs> gonna be... Dude, could you imagine Brazilian butt lift hands? Just big, <laughs> fucking fat ass twerk hands. <laughs> like, yeah, ha, 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 ha. <laughs> like, yo, fucking slap those bitches together. I hooked up with a 51 year old and I regretted it. What do you mean? Why? Because it was too old. What is for me? Really? Was yeah. she hot? She was 51. Was she hot, Samuel? She was pretty attractive. Yeah. But she had she had lived life. So <laughs> <laughs> you sound like a guy who's like a fucking ethical fucking <laughs> necrophiliac. She was, she was she was hot. She lived life. I'm look. She may have been. I but she lived her life. She had no family. Who look, cares I don't if care. I fucked her dead body? Who cares? She lived her life. She now she's living in a game. <laughs> By the devil himself. <laughs> I had sex with that body. I flew out the I car. I flew out of the car. <laughs> she had already been ejected. I fell on it. I had no idea the devil would be so strong. He flew into my balls and gave my dick the power of demons. That was a devil boner. That was a devil. That was Spiesel Bub's boner. <laughs> Spiesel Bub's boner. It was the most unclean penis I've ever had in my life. It turned red. It was and red bulbous. with fury and bulbous and veiny. It had hooves. Why was it so high? Why? Why? The fire and brimstone that shot out of that penis that day. <laughs> a dick fever? Dude. A dick, <laughs> I got a dick fever from the devil. I got a dick fever <laughs> from Satan himself. But <laughs> you started this podcast off being like it's full retardation. I think we hit it. <laughs> I tell everybody, I'm like, dude, there is nowhere to go on it. So wait, 51, <laughs> too old. Why was she too old? Well, you were talking about hands, old hands. Oh, she had old hands. Yeah, she told me she stopped. Did doing she like coke do this a lot? Thirties because she started having seizures. Yeah, that's yeah. All right, all right. All right, at least she stopped. You know, at least she yeah. had, you know, that's how you know. But I think she was bringing it up to see if I had coke. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, that's a classy broad. That's a good it's like, I don't do cocaine anymore. I stopped doing it because I had seizures. It's like, it'd be crazy. Like, I could show you the seizures if you... <laughs> If you had it, I would never. I can't twerk, but I can seizure. I, yeah, I can. I can fry like bacon. That's what I call it. I can. <laughs> I can fry like bacon on the ground. I'm pretty good. Yeah, that's what I want, baby. A, oh. a chick to fry like bacon on the ground. That's what I want. Put it in me like Narcan. <laughs> Put your dick up my nose and shoot it. <laughs> that is a. Uh... So wait, you, you guys, you guys banged. Mm -hmm. I'm assuming. Mm -hmm. Now, did she? Was everything else all right? You know, she had old hands. Was everything else all right? You don't have to go into it. I'm just curious. <laughs> I should know. It was old. 
I told you I was done with If it was a great experience, I'd be like, it's like I'm never buying a used car again. You know, like I bought a lemon. Dude, I bought was, a lemon. It's done. What was her body like? It was old, dude. It was old. What's the oldest you've been with? 48. You just, how old are you? I'm 39 now, but when I was 28, I went, I, okay. I, I fucked around with a 48 year old. Deb. Everyone knows Deb. Was she old at looking? In no, the body? she was she was older looking, but she was like that old work like out on she was old, but she was like, you know, masquerading as young. Mm. You know, like when now was this lady just old Let old? me describe it this way. Gravity had gotten to her. Ah, well, yeah, that's gonna happen, man. <laughs> yeah, fifty one long yeah, years. It's gonna on be this it's earth. gonna be fucking you're gonna see some shit that maybe you didn't. Now, do you think you're better for it or worse for it? I don't know. I, worse for it. Worse. Yeah. Uh huh. Really? Because I. Do you ever just like shoot your shot to see if you can, and then you regret when they accept? Yep. Been there. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> I have, Sam. And it's really. And that's not, why you know you what have it, to tell every woman now. You know you what have it's, You know what it's exactly. <laughs> Exactly. Exactly, Sam. <laughs> the devil got into my penis. <laughs> you should just call it Dude, the herpes I, the devil's the devil, fever. The, the devil's de fever. <laughs> Obviously, look, look, I got to be honest with you. Look, I like where everything's going. This is, this is moving very fast right now. And like, I'm all about hanging out. I'm definitely in. I'm not trying to say no, but I will tell you. It's never been a problem for me, but, you know, it is a thing. I do have the devil's fever. <laughs> <laughs> I, am, I am asymptomatic, though. I'm asymptomatic with the devil's oh, fever. No, no, no big deal. No big deal whatsoever. Yeah, I mean, I, I wouldn't say that I shot my shot just to see if I could. I was just, like, being flirtatious, and it just kind of worked out. And then it was like... Ah, now I don't want to say no. I feel like a dick. Like I've been in that situation where I'm like, fuck, I I feel like I led somebody on and now I feel worse if I'm just obligated. Like, <clears throat> not even like obligated. Just more like if a if you know, like, let's put it this way. You know how a chick will sometimes like flirt with you to get something? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And then Later, most dudes will be like, what the fuck? You know, like, I, I bought her drinks. I did this. I did that. Now she's just bouncing. That's, like, annoying. And, like, again, women aren't obligated to give you anything like that. If you if they're, if they're, if they're doing stuff and they're getting stuff, they're just doing their thing. You and get you, pussy without yeah, buying her yeah, drinks. Maybe try a little bit harder. However, if a woman... Have her pimp you out. If, if a woman's trying to snag dick just by fucking pimping pussy, I'm going to probably fall into that trap. <laughs> you know, one hundred percent. One hundred. If a woman ever bought me a drink, I'd be like, "What are you doing?" Mm -hmm. If a woman just came over, like, "Hey, I don't trust women who hit on me." Yeah, I've been in that situation too. Uh, well, or just anything. I'm like, "What?" Do I don't. You want? I don't really. I don't trust women. I don't, I don't trust. I don't trust you. <laughs> you know why? And that's why I fell <laughs> on the, the A woman gave me the devil's favor. <laughs> How could I ever trust you? My bitch of a wife made me suck that dick. I got the coots. I got the coots. I got the coots. <laughs> I've got Jamie coots on my fucking balls. Oh my God. good God! I thought I was handling a snake. It was dark no, in that room. It was dark. <laughs> It was dark. I thought the snake spit venom. <laughs> Sweet, salty venom. I didn't know. Man, I wonder how many. Yeah, that's. So wait, so. <laughs> 51, not good. Not good. Not good. So what's your like. Gravity one. Gravity, yeah. Well, gravity gravity one, always, 51 year old woman zero. Yeah, well, that's gravity, gravity's always going to win. Gravity always wins. Gravity always wins. Name a time where gravity hasn't won. In the history of gravity. Gravity always wins. Gravity always wins. That's like what gravity does. Undefeated gravity. Elon Musk beat gravity. Ah, <laughs> you know what? He's getting close. He hasn't beaten it yet. He's getting close. Now, do you are you now are you a on team are you on team Bezos or team Musk for billionaires? Is that like a is it like no, team Edward I just made, and I just made, team I, Jacob I, from what Twilight? Is that? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, you know what I love about this is I the feel fucking like every girl you fucked would know that reference. Without a doubt. 
But the funny thing is, this is the 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 generational disconnect. And when I was talking about like, oh yeah, Red Bull, I remember when that came out. You're like, what is that even yeah, mean? This, this motherfucker said he remembered I remember when, Red Bull, when got, Red Bull when a white guy stole an Asian person's dream. I remember when Red Bull hit the states hard in 1998. It was wild. How I was one year old? You were one. 97. I was born. <laughs> <laughs> My parents were just pouring Red Bull down my baby gullet. <laughs> they were just like, he's got to get big and strong. We're going to make this a Red Bull baby. Yeah, my dad's 5'10". That's why. Damn, that's a, yeah, all right, all right. That's a tall dude. Tall enough. Not really, I'm 6'4". Fuck you, dude, I'm 5'6". Why don't you shut the hell up? You, but to me, in my head, you're bigger than me. What does that even mean? <laughs> it means I have bad self-esteem. What does that even mean? <laughs> in your head, in your head, I'm bigger than you. Is yeah. it because when I rip a bong, I fucking do the death yeah. growl? Even when I don't even rip the bong, I just yell it anyway. I just do the thing. I think it's because you can grow a mustache. You could grow a mustache. This you is have not like, facial hair. Yeah, then. but this is like, I've seen you also pictures of you with like a beard. Not that long though. Yeah. Uh, do you really need a fucking like hillbilly beard? No. I would love it. You would? I would love to look like Rick Rubin. Oh, give that a fuck. Would be sick. You could easily do that. You're also 27, 28? 26. 26. Jesus Christ. You're the same age as my niece. Actually, my niece is a year older than you. Really? Or no, a year younger. Either way, you're the same age. Either way, you're fucking kids. I don't believe anything you say with your fucking bongs and your polar <laughs> seltzer <laughs> and your Celsiuses. God damn it. So, no kinks. <laughs> I said hands. That's the. What's your kinks? I feel like somehow this chair has to get involved. Yeah, in, in my kinks. Yeah, I mean, like sit on that chair. Oh man, that would be a weird kink. <laughs> yeah, rip your pussy and ass up, please. Or you sit on the chair and she gives you a lap dance, and that's why all this is hair oh, stuck in dude, it. Oh, dude, that would be. I bet that's happened. In, like, wild-ass countries where, like, dudes will sit on a chair that has, like, thorns in it, and then the chick, like, twerks and fucking Oh, yeah, like shit. a bed of nails. Yeah, that's probably happened. Without a doubt. I mean, I know a lot of deathmatch wrestlers. I wonder if they ever... Incorporated into yeah, the bedroom? Yeah. You think there's, like, a fucking light tube bedroom? <laughs> like, the posts are made of light tubes? And they just throw a chick onto it and bust through it. And you they're just like, we're pull a chair out from under yeah. the bed and just like, <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> During sex, he's like, what is he doing, King? He's getting off the bed. He's got a chair. He's got a rubber vibrating chair, King. <laughs> I'm telling you, I've heard them tell stories. None of this would surprise Dude, me. Dude, if you imagine, could you imagine if you like went over to Chick's house and she had a chair made of dildos and you just like, had like, like Game of Thrones? Like Game of Thrones, <laughs> but just like a fucking throne of vibrators? That would be I, I would have to respect it. You'd have to. Would you sit in You'd it? have to. You'd have to. <laughs> if you went over to Chick's house, she's like, look at my fucking If you told me the story and you didn't send me a selfie of you sitting Dude, in the I, chair. I, 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 that I'd would be, be so pissed at you. Me sitting on a, a fucking throne of vibrators would be my new Tinder profile pic. I'd just be like sitting there like Vigo from fucking Ghostbusters 2. Like, yeah, it would you have see to that? be a gif and you're just... Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> it's like a bed in a shitty motel. <laughs> it's, just... it's coin operated. It's <laughs> yeah. like, yeah, look, check it out. 25 cents. I'll ride the fucking... I, I actually have a vibrator that I make girls use to put 25 cents in to use at my place. Really? No. Oh, damn it. Dude, I was like, oh, yeah, Sam. Imagine. You're like, if you want to come, give me a quarter. Look, it's, it's going. It's, it's cough it up. Cough it up. A quarter of cum. That's what I tell them. You Don't get, be selfish, bitch. You get six minutes until I provide a service. Vibrating. The service costs money. I'm sorry. If you want to come, look, I'm not going to be able to do it. <laughs> I'm just telling you, you can come if you want. It costs a quarter. Could you imagine just like going to the bank with all those fucking vibe quarters just rolled up? It's like, what'd you do to get all those? Like, I yeah. would you like? To, would you like to come? <laughs> Sniff them and you tell me. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you bring yeah. the vibrator is, has a big undercarriage. You just bring it into the bank. <laughs> it's a fucking. It's a <laughs> you just open start. it up and just empty all the quarters. Oh, down it's on just the like that. Oh, dude, the like nutsack is the coin purse. <laughs> like you pull it back and it just it's like, sorry. 
<laughs> Sorry about that. I've been busy, boy. It's a holiday season. I'm trying to save up. <laughs> These bitches are sad. You don't understand. You know, seasonal depression is a thing. I'm trying just to... hanging out with the coin star. Yeah, just like <laughs> shaking it out. Like, you believe this? You know, the worst part is they take like three percent. It's not. You don't even get all. You don't even get all money. <laughs> Just shaking it out, complaining like this is fucking wild. It's like I had to drive halfway across town. They pulled these out of TD. A hot, a hot girl walks by. You're like, I'm actually donating it. Yeah, this, this is going for, to charity. Yeah, this is toys for tots. <laughs> I saw a Hot Wheels track. I'm gonna probably get it. <laughs> I saw it earlier at Ross. It was at Ross. It's like I'm not breaking the bank. Oh my god! Yeah, dude. I I I think <laughs> if you, you'd have to sit on a Game of Thrones dildo chair. Yeah. You'd have to do it. Mm -hmm. It's like if you don't have. Yeah, I mean, how has that not been in a porn? It's definitely been in a porn. We just. You know why? Too. You know why we know it. You Google Game of Thrones. Here's what I'm saying. Porn. We probably haven't seen it, <laughs> no, just... and the reason we probably haven't seen it is because the porn we watch isn't cinematic anymore. What's the last porn you watched where there was like a plot? Mm. Exactly. Well, what is a plot in porn? So here's what I'll tell you. Here's a, the last porn I watched that had a plot. Was called Milf Pact. Where it was a bunch of stepmoms who made a pact to sleep with their stepsons after a certain amount of days. That just sounds. That sounds like you ever hear that TV show Milf Manor. Milf Manor is it that a, is that the one where all the hot moms, all the moms and all their sons. Oh, their sons are involved. Yeah, it's eight so moms, wait. eight sons, and they're in a manor. And the other milfs try to fuck, fuck the e sons. They fuck God. each other's sons. That's what I'm talking about. Milf Manor, yeah, dude. That's the last porn I watched with a plot. <laughs> <laughs> Milf Manor. Wait, is this like an actual show, not actual, a porn? Yeah, actual not a porn show. though. No, no porn. That's so you just beat off to a reality show. Yeah. Yeah. All right. You ever watch Hoarders? <laughs> <laughs> the chick who craps in a bucket. You're like, oh yeah. Oh my god. I wonder if the, see now. Let me get caught under your flag. Oh, could you imagine? Could you now? Would that freak you out if you Getting if you caught no 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 oh, no no flat, no no, yes. no no if you started talking to this really hot chick really hot fits your age current she's not fifty one gravity hasn't won the battle yet <laughs> you know they're still pert she's looking to squirt everything's good. <laughs> At 51, squirting's just called a loose bladder. Yeah, I was going to say, that's just incontinence. <laughs> yeah. It's like, oh, no! <laughs> oh, does she man. squirt or does she just wear diapers? <laughs> yes. <laughs> is she wearing a pad? Or, imagine, is she wearing a pad or is she a could squirter? You imagine, <laughs> could you imagine buying adult diapers for your grandma? I just feel she's like she's a squirter. <laughs> Damn, grandma. It's like, yo, my mom's a squirter, dude. <laughs> <laughs> no Man. reason there's plastic yeah, on the couch. Yeah, put it all down on the couch. He's getting gross, dude. Maybe that was the reason they had you it on the couch. You just a cholo, right? Yeah, there. dude, come on. She was gross, Holmes. Is it? Is it? She squirts. But I uh, fucking... Baja Blast. <laughs> Baja Blast. Jesus Christ. All right, what the fuck was I talking about? <laughs> anyway, saving children from a fire. Yeah, that was back. That was back. That was a while ago, dude. Awesome. <laughs> no, my kinks. <laughs> my king. Oh yeah, we still have messages. Let me just let me just rattle off the kinks real quick. I don't even think these are kinks. These are just like things I'm into, and I don't know why. One, dark lipstick, like black, brown lipstick. Always been into it. Don't know why. Two, scrubs. Don't know why. Chicken scrubs, I'll lose my... I don't know what the fuck it is. Don't know. I do not know. And three, glasses always do it for me. I'm a big glasses dude. And four, Velma from Scooby-Doo. All the time. I feel like those aren't kinks. Yeah, see? That's what I'm saying. Like, I don't think they're kinks. They're just, like, weird preferences. But every, like everything has to be... who work at Spencer's. <sighs> don't... Don't... <laughs> don't just start... 
devaluing these things. <laughs> de- 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 no, don't. don't start devaluing these women. These are, <laughs> yeah, they're, they're not just people wearing these are expensive. Beautiful women with real jobs. They have real things. Yo, we got messages. We, <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. We forgot. I, I no, feel no, like no, I it's my fault. You. No, no. I feel like you I insulted, you. you insulted <laughs> I me. Apologize. How dare you? All the women are beautiful. I hope all the Every, women. I hope every woman that's working at the King of Prussia Mall is listening to this. <laughs> it's the holiday season. They need love. Steve. Uh, yo, Shaner. It's your boy, Steve. Uh, the guy that got uh, hypnotized by a sexual predator. <laughs> uh, for smoking or for quitting smoking. Yeah, man. Uh, <laughs> Yo, I was just listening, and you were talking about the hot dog girl thing, and actually a girl from my town stuck a hot dog in her vagina, and it broke off inside, was the rumor, and had to Better than a nine millimeter. get it removed, and she got a lot of shit for it. Every time around town, the guys would be like, hot dog girl, hot dog girl. I don't believe and, this. I don't. And I, I wonder if she ever lived it down, or... All right, man. Well, I'll call you another time. <laughs> <laughs> One, he said the sexual hypnotist thing like he was the gay priest. He's like, I got, I got sexually I got hypnotized. hypnotized. I didn't get molested. I was hypnotized by a sexual predator. <laughs> I was not molested. I was sexually hypnotized. <laughs> this sorceress. <laughs> He came out of nowhere. He waved his penis in front of me like a pendulum. And the next thing I knew, I saw a spiral and I was taken away. And he put his fingers inside me, a magic finger. There was a watch hanging there from the There was a tip. watch. He said, you're getting very sleepy and weirdly horny. One of the two. And I didn't know what was happening. Uh, yeah, man, I think, I know that you said that you actually knew a woman in your town that put a hot dog in her vagina. I actually knew a woman in my town that put a hot dog in their vagina. That's like an urban legend. I don't know if, like, as much as you, the woman, did or didn't, really what happened, I think, is that you just started making fun of a random girl who had no idea why she was called hot dog girl. (laughs) That's really what it comes down to. Also, that's the worst food to put in your pussy. Is a hot dog? That's not like it's too flimsy. It's frozen. <laughs> frozen hot dog. That's c- too cold. <laughs> <laughs> You're like a hot dog you three can't, bears. You can't You're get like, a fucking this zucchini. Hot dog's too cold. <laughs> oh, this hot dog's too flimsy to put in my fucking pussy. <laughs> This hot dog's been defrosted <laughs> just right. Oh, fucking pussy luck. So yeah, dude. <laughs> Pussy locks. <laughs> She's got to find the just right hot dog. <laughs> that's the last point I watched with a plot. It needs to be kosher. <laughs> it's got to be. It's got to be a Hebrew national. <laughs> what long? It's a bun leg. My parents <laughs> told me it has to. It has to be. I have to end up with a Hebrew I, I, national. I can't. I can't just put a ballpark crank in there. I'm sorry. <laughs> I can't. I can't. You know what? I and actually, my parents always hated foot loss. When it when it comes down to it, when it comes down to it, is I would find <laughs> as trashy as it is, I would find a lady who put a Hebrew national hot dog in her pussy way more classy than she could put a ballpark <laughs> in. And I'd be like, yeah, she's. You know what? She's got taste. She's um, got a little. It's a little highfalutin. Where does o- Oscar Meyer <laughs> fall on the scale? Oscar Meyer is like, they're they're good. But, like, I think if someone was going for, like, the upper echelon of hot dog, they're usually going Hebrew National. Have you ever had a Hebe Nat? They're yeah, great. They're yeah. fucking great. But, like, Oscar Mayer is good. But I think... The one thing I don't like about Hebrew National is how the, the ends are circumcised. <laughs> they have to do that it. That was so dumb. <laughs> Scratch that from the record. No. Actually, Dan, can you can you bleep that whole thing out so that everybody's wondering what he said? <laughs> so everyone's just like, what did Sam Buck say? Jesus Christ. In these very turbulent <laughs> times. He's like, you know what I don't like about Hebrew National? <laughs> <laughs> 
And that's Free why. Palestine. Yeah, and you know what? I, you know who I do stand with? <laughs> God damn it. All right, we got one more message. <laughs> one more. Oh, I hope it's a banger. Hey, Shaner. Hey, Dubs. Hey, guests. <laughs> I got another hypothetical for you. <laughs> Such a long pause. But this one's a little bit close to home. I'm kind of trying to juggle some shit. So, would you rather donate your spunk to a good friend of yours and have a close connection with the child as a godfather, or would you rather pretty much spend the rest of your life working with severely mentally handicapped individuals like severe autism individuals that punch you in the face and shit <laughs> and because I'm doing both right now I'm just kind of <laughs> curious on on the outside perspective of it Wait, what? what you would prefer why can't you do both if the money was good on the other side wait a minute what is... and it's still being rewarding because you can still see that they're growing as individuals. One good on you for working with the also, children. Also, no financial costs on that. And Dubs, you're single in this moment, so I <laughs> guess you're single in this moment. So. Oh, this is in the hypothetical. I get it. I get it now. I think everyone's going to lean to the first one, but you know, there's always that parental thing that comes over where you uh, you kind of want to do more than you can, but all the documents are signed where you're not daddy, you know. So, hope that brings up a good argument. Have a good one. I, right, th I think I understand. Yeah, I, I... Would you rather take care of kids who aren't your own uh -huh. and severely autistic? Severely autistic. Or... or have a kid, but that kid doesn't know it's your father. You're the father. You're the father. But you still get to be involved in its life. Yeah. Like a cool uncle. I'd, I'd, I'd do but that. But why can't you do both? I think it's... Why can't he have the kid and also keep his job? Well, here's the X factor. What if the kid comes out mentally handicapped or autistic, and then now you got some kid that you got to pretend to be uncle with who's actually of your seed, and then you go to work and deal with a bunch of fucking goddamn bozos coming at you. But then the kid's in the class, and you can't pick favorites. Yeah, see, now, see, these are things we're not even thinking about. These are things this guy didn't even think about. Could you imagine being in a class teaching a bunch of, you know, severely mentally handicapped children, and one's your kid that you can't admit that you love, and you just, like, got to watch him run around like a pack animal? Trying oh, to <laughs> Not like, not like, you know, I don't think you should <laughs> call a group of autistic children pack animals. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I can stand behind that Danny, sentiment. I want you to also leave that out, and then everyone will under, uh, try to guess what I said. <laughs> I, want to, I want everyone to. This is a mystery like episode. You think you think that teaching severely autistic kids is just hurting them? <laughs> <laughs> like you're in a big field. Yeah, one of those big long hooks. You got a fucking... Like a shepherd hook, like get out of my hand. <laughs> you have Could to... you imagine there's a dog you got a whistle at, like babe? Like, what are you doing? I'm like, I'm teaching. You just got a pit bull that yeah, grabs, like, I got, I got... the rough one and run... just takes him around. Or you have a crane game. That was... <laughs> Why doesn't that happen more? You think China? Get to it. China will get to it. Asia will definitely get to that. Yeah. I mean, those are places... This is probably a question that gets dealt with in Asia every day. What? Why would you rather deal with... Them? <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what that means. Yes, thank you. That was a very Asian question. <laughs> that was so Asian-y. No, the, uh, but why can't he do both? I don't I don't know. That wasn't part of the question. Uh, but I know... What would you pick? I mean... Now keep in mind, you're giving your spunk to a good friend. <laughs> <laughs> he also said spunk. I don't think he should have children if he's using terms like giving spunk, spunk to a good friend. <laughs> spunk. I also don't think he should be teaching children. <laughs> and so one thing they ask you is like, how do you refer? I, well, actually, there is no good. 
What's the best word? Cum? Yeah. Yeah, if you were like, how do you... How the do worst you... is jism. Jism? <laughs> jism? Before... <laughs> I'm just trying to give my jism, jism to a good pal. I'm just... I think ejaculate is... Jism to a proctor. Oh, jism to a proctor. <laughs> I'm just trying to give... My jism to a proctor. I shoot my spunk. I shoot my spunk is a, a good term. Spunk, spunk's pretty good. Spunk's good. Now, out of all the words for pussy, what do you prefer? I don't even know why I said put vagina. Vagina. What's my favorite yeah. vagina word? What's your favorite vagina word? Is it um. pussy? Is it gash? Is it hatchet wound? Is it gap <laughs> hole? Is it pond garage? Is it clam ditch? Clam ditch. Or oyster ditch, as I like to call it. Ham wallet. I like ham wallet. Ham That's a good, good one. Ham That's a good one. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I feel like pussy is such a good word. It is good. Pussy's like the perfect word. It is pretty good. Have you ever tried to, you have to use pussy in the bedroom. Yeah. You can't use vagina. You can't, use say, you can't really say Because vagina is also kind of hard to say. And if you fumble up words in the bedroom, <laughs> <laughs> especially my mush mouth, I'm like, Oh, oh, oh you, you like the vagina? Vagina. Bra oh, vagina. <laughs> can, vagina. I, can I play with your vagina? <laughs> vagina? <laughs> vagina was like, yo, she had a really fucking sick vagina, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but JJ, uh, but that's, JJ a bad that's one. never good. If you're like, yo, give me some of that fucking vagina. <laughs> slit. Oh, slit is the best, dude. Yeah, 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 let me see your sick slit. <laughs> gash. I love gash, dude. Ga yeah, gash is good. Gash is good. Yeah, let me fucking. That would be a t shirt. Gash. Gash, is, gash, gash is, is good. good. Instead of Cash is King, <laughs> Gash is Instead good. Instead of Life is Good, it's just a stick figure. <laughs> <laughs> gash is good. Gash is good. Gash. Dude, I'm making those shirts for the end. Gash is good forever, dude. That's a fucking grave. It's like, and it's a guy in a, like a fucking inner tube. It's just like, Gash is good. Gash is good. Gash is good, dude. Like, my, dad name, my dad's name is Dick Buck. That is So awesome. I don't like the word dick in the bedroom. Really? What would you but prefer? But cock is weird. Yeah, if if a lady ever... Yeah, because I've never heard a woman say, like, yo, let me suck your... Well, no, I've heard suck your cock, but I've never heard, like... Cock is a weird word. I've never heard a cock... I've never heard them say cock while I'm fucking them. Pe <coughs> penis? Penis? Yeah, no one, no one says that. No. If a lady... Then again, I would... <laughs> I would actually love that. I would <laughs> laugh my you. ass off. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> if, a, if a chick was like, let me suck your penis. <laughs> 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 let me play with your vagina. <laughs> yeah, yeah. First off, let, you want me to play with my vagina while I suck your pee pee? I feel like the term bussy is used now. Bussy? Yeah. What the fuck is bussy? Bussy, like boy pussy? Like. Danny. <laughs> Danny, you ever hear of bussy? Danny, we're old. <laughs> yeah. Danny, we're old. Bussy? Bussy. <laughs> What? <laughs> but we should vagina's way vagina, better. Vagina's, yeah. way vagina's way better than fuck that. pussy. Fuck that. It's always vagina now. <laughs> you got no that. more pussy. <laughs> no more pussy. It's vagina. It's vagina. It's vagina. <laughs> Yo, she had a fucking or God that, made me fall they, into the vagina. Listen, I'll tell you right now. They had, and I say they because I will not just make a proclamation about their pronouns, the vagina <laughs> that I saw was succulent and erect. <laughs> I would never, I would, <laughs> would you, would you ever smash a, a vagina? No. No? No. No? It seems like everyone nowadays is just getting into vaginas. I was thinking about this. No, this is probably too... It, this is going to come across as hateful, but I don't mean <laughs> it as hateful. Go for it. I feel like if I ever got to the... <laughs> Is that the cancel I was button? like, here it is. <laughs> I was like, everybody, it's like when people are going to kick the fuck, it's like, here it goes. <laughs> you can feel the yeah, wind you, change. <laughs> I don't know if this is going to, I don't know if this is going to be good, but go, <laughs> boy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> if I was ever down bad, I feel like I would have to be really down bad to do to fuck a vagina. Like I feel like I'd be really like I'd be like, there's no other option, and then I'd go to oh, a vagina. Yeah, you're like no one. But will I fuck haven't me. been that down bad. I you ever seen Nymphomaniac by yeah. Lars von Trier? Yeah, the whole thing, all like five hours of it. Uh, yeah. So you know the end. He's yeah, just this yeah. sad, horny, yeah. horny dude. I wouldn't kill her. I would go get some vagina. Yeah, just get some vagina <laughs> at that point. I don't know. Like, I, I'm, I'm trying to think of the only... Would you ever pay? Pay for sex? Mm -hmm. I have paid for sex. Once. How but much? I, but I didn't know that I was paying for sex. Did you ever, did you ever been, have, you ever been, have you ever been paid for sex and you didn't think you were getting paid for sex? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like that. I fucked for weed. Like, whoa. She gave me weed. So you fucked a lady and she paid you in weed. Sweet ganj. Mm -hmm. Damn. Yeah, I, 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 I fucked a chick and she paid. So, like, I got, I took an Uber out there and the Uber was like 30 something dollars. And when everything was all said and done, I was leaving. She gave me $150. Oh, yeah. <laughs> And I was like, what's this? She's like, no, it was like really expensive. And like, you know, just thanks for hanging out. And I was like, am I a prostitute? Am I a prostitute? How'd it feel? Yeah. Uh, I didn't feel bad about it, but it was like one of those things where like, it was a way homer. Like as I was getting in like the car, I was like halfway home. I was like, wait, am I a whore? <laughs> <laughs> Like, it was one of those things where I almost talked to the Uber driver about it. You had like, a pretty woman like, moment. I, I, yeah, I was like, <laughs> I got home and I started putting makeup on my face. I was like, look at you. <laughs> you whore. Daddy was right. I knew it. I, yeah, I call my dad. I'm like, you, I know you're trying to help me. <laughs> you call. <laughs> I just uh, had the call. He's like, "Yeah, right. I told you, man. You fucking, you're a fucking prostitute, dude." Oh my god! This wait, this is. <laughs> I uh, a girl hooked up with me and then asked me to share her music afterwards. Like, so she was fucking me for promotion. Whoa, that's a new one. Isn't that... I've never heard of that. Was it good? No, it wasn't. <laughs> The music or the sex, because both suck. I guess both. <laughs> you got that SoundCloud vagina? <laughs> <laughs> That's no good. Oh, Holy shit. This but... has been the Ed Podcast. <laughs> Sam, thank you so much for being on the fucking show. Thank you so much Make for sure you me. call the hotline, 833-443-5300. We will address any comment, question, concern, or hot dog situation, or autistic <laughs> kid situation you have. And be sure to go to the Gollum Company Fucking January 31st. Me and the boys will be there fucking partying. It'll be a fantastic show. Danny, you got any more words and more details about that shit? Um, music, partying. Oh, yeah. What was the name of the band? I, Wild oh, Plains. Wild Plains will be there. And we're going to be partying hard as hell. And guess what? There's going to be the devil's fever all over oh, that fucking... Yeah. It's going to be there. <laughs> God damn it. Thank you so <laughs> much. <laughs> thank you so much. We'll see you on the Patreon. Patreon. <laughs>